Ah, the joy of new art supplies. And thankfully, they were not broken because they were not packaged that well, as you could see. So just spraying on a little bit of water here before using the ink. I'm working with a hockey brush and on watercolor paper, a big piece, and then dropping the ink right in to the area where I've sprayed the paper. So it's already wet and you can see it start to spread a little bit from the water already on the page. This one did a little more. I love watching it flow and start to mingle. So now I'm just dripping water. Instead of spraying it, it's a little less pressure so it doesn't splatter as much and it will run and mingle a little more. Um, fun to just let it kind of have its way and follow its lead. So then I came in with just a um, filbert brush, I think it is, um, pulling that a little bit more where there was a line, kind of looked like a division there, uh, pulling it out a little bit more in a few places, adding a little more water, still keeping it very fluid, loose, fun, just enjoying the flow and the color. Then I came in with a pencil and added a few organic sort of seed pod like shapes in a few places and it pulled the ink a bit with it so it kind of made a different painterly mark than a brush would mixed with the tip of the pencil and then I finished it I was just enjoying sitting in the dappled sunlight set it aside to dry and I noticed when I set it aside to dry that we had this pooling. I had this pooling happen here, and that's okay. It ended up being what led the way for that little flower where I just added the dot there. And the drips happened accidentally when I picked it up, thought it was mostly dry, or I was taking it inside to let it finish dry, and ended up with a few drips and just decided to let it, let it flow right off. and. Um, then now I came in back in after that was completely dry with some more ink and some regular acrylic, probably medium body, sort of, not too heavy, not too um, fluid. And then that's another ink, a different brand, and dropping water in with it for that kind of yellow green, green yellow around the edges. And let again, following its lead where it has marks that kind of looked like they could be blooms. I let that lead and then I used some white paint all around the outside to cover the few drips where I didn't want them. And here you can see some of the pencil details that I added in after the ink was dry, like an orchid shape and some other shapes that, that's a shimmery ink there that I added. And voila! <laughs>